Hello, everyone. Welcome to your total body microformer class. Today, it's going to be a lot of lateral focused movements, not meaning we're just working the sides of your body, no, but a lot of them are going to be laterally side focused, especially in legs. Um, so let's get started right in our obliques. So, you know, I like to switch up the order. So let's go zero springs for this one in order for it to work. Zero springs. I'm gonna be over to the left side of my front platform facing out, hands on the floor, pretty close to where my carriage and my platform meet. It's a side kicker for the right weight. So I'm about three feet away from my machine facing out towards you guys. Toes are gonna to be on the carriage. Hands are gonna be on the ground. You want to be in a plank kind of position. Ready? Three, two, lift up into a plank like a bear hold almost. And now kick and push your legs over to the side and then bend your knees in underneath of your hips. You're in a bear hold. Now I'm going to scoop my hands back so that my knees are actually, <clears throat> excuse me, underneath of my hips, right? Good. So it's like a kicker. So when I stop my knees underneath my hips, I am in a bare hold. And then I kick my legs over to the left. And then I use my right oblique to pull my knees in all the way until my carriage hits the platform. Good. Side kicker. Again, working the right oblique. I'm trying not to lift and lower my hips too much. It's just a knee kick out, knee bend in situation. Shoulders over those wrists. Good, guys. Let's go 35 seconds here. And then we're gonna do a twisted wheelbarrow for 30, right up onto the toes, dancing bare 30. Then we'll cross our right foot over the left foot for a teaser for 30. And then we'll go back to the beginning, just 30 seconds in all three of those movements. At the front, facing the back, keep the zero springs or feel free to go to one black if you want a little added support. Starting in that twisted wheel, left knee on top of right knee in three, two, let's do it. So twisted wheel, guys. Left knee on top of right knee, my feet are hovering away from the floor a little bit. Drop the hips, drop the butt, just the hands shift forward, just the hands shift back. Y'all know this one. Good. Now, instead of putting my feet on the floor for dancing bear, which would be easier, I'm actually going to go to the platform quickly because right after that one, we'll go teaser. And I prefer doing a carriage teaser with my feet on the platform. Otherwise, my shins hit the platform. Ready? Three, two, hop up onto the toes. I know this is going fast. Dancing bear, guys, you're going to bend your knees into that left elbow only. And then kick your legs up to straight legs. Good. Knees to the left. Kick it out. Now in 10, stay here. You're just gonna cross your right foot over your left foot, sides of your feet, reverse teaser. In three, two, right foot over left foot. Legs are straight, arms are straight, and now pike it up, extend it out. Exhale, pike, right foot over left foot. Inhale, extend, lovely. We're gonna go back to left knee on top of right knee, twisted wheel in eight. Good, in four, three, two, back to it. Twisted wheel, just the hand shift forward, just the hand shift back. We're still on that same side. Good, everybody. 15 seconds. You're going to go back to that dancing bear, knees to the left elbow only. And then we'll go back to the teaser. And then we're going to hit some center core, okay? I know it's a lot on the wrist. Feel free to take it on the elbows. In three, two, I do a lot on the wrist, guys, just because it feels better for my shoulders. All right, but you can always, always do everything I'm ever doing on the hands on the elbows, okay? Yes, 10 seconds. You cross your right foot over your left foot, sides of your feet, 
reverse teaser. In four, three, two, right foot over left foot. Just make it a nice, smooth transition. Leg straight, arm straight, exhale, pike. Inhale, extend. Now, you're going to make sure that you're on one block. We're going to head to the back. <clears throat> We're going to do a reverse giant wheel and then come down to the elbows, reverse giant crunch, walk up to the hands, reverse giant wheel. We're just going to alternate. We're there in three, two, Awesome, guys. So now we're in your center four, okay? So make sure you're on one block, knees on the carriage, hands on your back platform. You're gonna give me one wheel, one cat crunch, ready? Part of the work is going up and down from the hands into the elbows. Let's do it. So hinge back, this is the wheel. Hinge forward, keep the hips and the butt down. Finish the wheelbarrow, come down to the elbows, and now crunch. Round it up, knees in, and then knees go out. Keep the hips and the butt still, palm, palm, wheelbarrow. So you see what you're doing? You're doing one wheel, make sure you always finish the motion before you go to the next. Elbow, elbow, crunch. Amazing. You have 60 seconds with this combo. Then we're gonna do a pike to plank on our hands for 15. Elbows 15. Hands 15, elbows 15. Woo. Again, part of that is making the transition from hands to elbows, elbows to hands. Say hello to the center core. We did your right oblique. Now we're gonna do center core. And then we'll do your left oblique. In 15, hands up, toes up. I need a reverse giant pike to plank. We're there, guys, in five, four, three, two. Let's do it. So hands are up, toes are up. 15 seconds on the hands, go. Exhale, pike. Doesn't have to be big. Inhale, extend. Now in five, I know time goes fast. Elbows down, same thing. Four, three, two, carefully. Elbows down, same thing. In three, two, hands up, same thing. A little bend in the knees if it needs to get out of the hip flexors for you. Good, in four, elbows down. In three, two, elbows down, let's go. Nice, everybody, you're on the knees for a saw. In five, stay on the elbows. In four, three, two, knees and elbows. All right, drop the hips, drop the butt. And now just the shoulder shift back. Just the shoulder shift forward. Hips and butt are down. But in five, we're gonna lift the hips up a little higher. Keep them there, same thing. In three, two, one. So hips up a little higher, keep them there. Ooh, and you're gonna feel it a little different. Keep that soft. Yeah. Going back to normal in three, two, back to normal. Saw back, saw forward. Yes. You're gonna do one more with the hips up higher in four. Beautiful, three, two, hips up a little higher. Keep them there. Good, soft. In eight, toes where your knees are, hands on your back bars. If you don't have back bars, 
Maybe you have front bars, go catfish. In three, two, let's do it. So wherever you have bars, catfish. Heels high, knees bent. If you don't have bars, there, right? You're gonna drag the tippy toes forward, keeping the hips and the butt in the same line as the shoulders, take them back. Very small. Drag the tippy toes forward, and then drag them back. All the weight over the hands, unless you're at the front, then you can kind of shift your shoulders back behind the wrist. At the back, I wouldn't recommend that. Really drag that carriage in with the center low abdominal region. I know I say that, I say it because you gotta kind of think about it. Good, 15. We're gonna go back to the soft. Elbows down, knees down in eight. In four, three, two, back to elbows and knees, guys. And then you got another six minute section of abs at the end of class, okay? So you had six minutes here, just saw the shoulders, and then you have another six minutes at the end. Splitting it up today, because we did your obliques, right? And now hips up a little higher, keep them there, same soft. Amazing, in three, two, hips back down, normal, stop. We got one more time with the hips up higher, then we're gonna take it to the front, zero springs, other side oblique, in three, two, hips up higher first, stop. Good. Now in 10, you ride it to the front, zero springs for your side kicker on the other side. In three, two, awesome. Side kicker. So if you're facing the back right now, you're gonna turn to your left. Hands out on the floor about where your carriage and your platform kiss. Feet on the carriage. All right, you're gonna be in a bear hold to start. You can see me a little better on this side. And now kick the legs over to the right. Use your left oblique to bend the knees in. And then scoot your hands up or back as needed. And you're just kicking your legs over to the right and then bend them in underneath of the hips in that bare hold. Yes. The work is when you drag the legs back into center, right? That's the work. Yes. Let's go 30 seconds, everybody. We got the twisted wheel, dancing bear teaser, twisted wheel, dancing bear teaser. At the front, facing the back, you're welcome to be on one black if you need to. Otherwise, stay on zero springs. We're there in 10. Good, everybody. In five, four, three, two. Awesome. Woo. Tough. All right. Right knee stacks on top of the left knee. Hands on your carriage. Ready? And... Hit it. Even though your knees are kind of turned, just really square the shoulders to that facing direction. You're quickly gonna put your toes up on the platform, dancing bare knees to the right elbow only in eight. In four, three, Two, up on the toes, just start bending your knees in to that right elbow only. And then kick the legs out straight. Beautiful. 
Feet are on the platform, cuz. I want you to cross your left foot over your right foot in 10 seconds for that teaser. You could do it on the floor too. It's just sometimes you, when you pike, you kind of hit your ankles on the platform. In three, two, left foot over right foot. And now pike, make it easy. Small pike. 20 seconds, you're back in that twisted wheel. One more time through everything, then we're gonna get into your first leg, where we'll be facing the side a lot. In three, two, let's do it. So lots of side facing legs. We'll do heavy side facing and then light. We'll do some at the back, some at the front. Mostly at the front though. Good. Then we'll do your arms and we'll do your other leg. Six minute section of abs at the end. And now pop up onto the toes, dancing bear, let's go. And if you ever need to cut the workout short, guys, I usually kind of tell you what the order of business is going to be. So you can always kind of plan it out. For example, today, if you wanted to end at that last leg and skip the six minutes of abs, you could do it. In five, reverse teaser one more time. Four, three, two, left foot over right foot. Hike it. Good. We're going to start in a ninja kick, so side facing, starting with that right leg first today. One red up to one red, two black. Good. We're there in eight, right foot on the floor. In four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Woo. All right. So. One red, up to one red, two black. I might have said yellow, but you know what I mean. <laughs> right foot's going to be in front of your front platform on the floor to start. Left heel down in the eyelet close to the springs. Toes and knee point up. It's an isometric hold on the right side. Kick out with the left side. Ready, guys? Three, two. Hold on one second. Let me move my carpet. This is going to get crazy on me. Ready, go. Kick and push your left leg out. Bend your left knee in. Beautiful. Out slow with the left leg. In slow. So you're sitting in that isometric hold on the right as you kick with the left. Beautiful. Out slow. In slow. Heel is up in the eyelid, or sorry, heel is down. Toes are up. Good. Let's go 20 seconds. Then your left leg is gonna kick out to a straight leg. We've got a pulse. In five, left leg kicks out to a straight leg. Four. Three, two, kick the left leg out to a straight leg. Now pulse the right hip up a little, push it back and down. Like you're doing a heavy side lunge. Up a little, push it back and down. Really bend into the working right knee. Good, try not to rush it on the way up. Yes. In four, you go back. In three, two, Back to that ninja kick. Sit low, bend the left knee up and in. Kick the left leg out. Just try to keep the right hip still. You can always take your right foot over to the right to make it easier. Right foot to the left makes it harder, right? Good, everybody. You have one more straight left leg pulse in four. Three, two, kick the left leg out straight. Now pulse the right hip up a little and then push it back and down. 
up a little, push it back and down. Lovely, guys. We're going to hit a side kick next. Right foot steps in front of your front platform more. Left heel on the edge of the carriage closest to your front platform. Kind of like a skater on the ground. In three, two, let's do it. So side kick. Right foot is going to be on the floor in front of your front platform. Left foot's going to be on the edge of the carriage. You're going to sit on the right side, kick with the left side. Ready, three, two, let's go. Good. So sit on the right, kick with the left. Out slow with your left leg, in slow. Again, isometric hold on the right as you kick with the left. Beautiful. And you can step your right foot over to the right to make it a little lighter. Step your right foot in towards the platform heavier. Feeling that right outer thigh. Good. Let's go 20 seconds, then left leg goes out to a straight leg. Good, we're just gonna hold the bottom of that side kick. In 10, left leg kicks out to a straight leg. In four, three, two, kick it out. Hold it. Good, guys. In four, you go back to normal. Three, two, back to normal. In slow. And then out slow. Beautiful, guys. 10 seconds, you go back to a straight left leg hold. In four, three, two, kick it out, hold it out. Amazing, sit low on that right side. Back to full range in three, two, full range. Woo, those holds are tough. Good, guys. You have another hold coming up in eight. In four, three, two, kick it out, hold it out. Booty back and down real low. That's it. Back to full range in three, two, go. 20 seconds here. Oh, yes. Then you're going to stand up on your machine, feet on the edges of your surfaces, We've got a baby skater. We're there in eight. Baby skater, guys, in three, two, let's do it. So feet are gonna be on the edges of your surfaces. Little bend in the knees, pop your hips back, out a little, in a little. Good, out a little. Give me one second, guys. My mom has to move my car. Out a little in. Here. Out a little. Sorry, I'm just recording. Do you just want to move my car? That's okay. Out a little, in a little, baby skater. Ready? Let's do it. Sorry for that, guys. Out a little. In a little, tiny bend in the knees, you got it. Pop the hips back. Yes, it's just a very, very small, sorry about that interaction, guys. There's always like some sort of car Tetris going on. Out a little, good, in a little. Tiny bend in the knees, feet are right up on the edges. Good. In 20, you're gonna kick this out, hold this out, and squat, keeping the carriage really, really still. Try to center up the weight, get your feet right up on the edges. There's a soft bend in my knees. This is not a deep squat right now. Right, in three, two, kick it out, hold it out. And now squat all the way down, keep the carriage still, stand all the way up. 
Good. Keeping that carriage nice and still all the way down. Beautiful, guys, all the way up. Let it kind of shake at the top. Yes. Eight seconds. You're back up. Baby skater in four, three, two, back to baby skater. In a little, out a little. Good. In a little, out a little. You got it, guys. In 10, you're back into those squats. Woo. In five, four, three, two, kick it out, hold it out, all the way down squat. And then all the way up to standing. Let the legs kind of shake at the top. Just keep that carriage kicked out. It's a challenge. You're pushing down and out with both feet. Yes. In 10, we go back to baby skater. In five, four, three, two, stand it up. Pop the chest forward, find your angle. In a little, out a little. Good, last 25 seconds here of heavy springs, laterally facing. And then we're gonna come down to zero springs or one black if you want a little extra support at the front, we've got a side lunge. We're there in five. Side lunge, guys, in four, three, two, let's do it. So zero springs for one block. Okay, right foot is gonna be on the platform, left toes on the edge of the carriage, all the way down, all the way up, side lunge. Ready? Three, two, now it's a light lunge. So lean into that working right leg all the way down. Push down through the right foot to come up. Try not to stand up all the way. And your feet are staggered, so your right foot is slightly in front of the left foot. Left foot is back on the edge of the carriage. Good. Let's go 30 seconds. Nice. Then we're gonna hold it, pulse it, carriage kick it, hold it, pulse it, carriage kick it. Then we're gonna do the same lunge at the back, but you'll wanna be on one block. In three, hold it at the bottom, two, Hold it all the way to the right leg, booty back and down, chest up. You're gonna push down through that right foot and start a pulse right here, up two inches, and then down two, good. Up two, down two. Now hold it down and carriage kick that left knee in. Carriage kick it out, lovely. You're gonna go back to the pulse in four, three, Two, left leg goes straight, pulse it up two inches, down and back two. Yes, guys. Up two, down two. Now hold it down first for eight, then we carriage kick. In six, five, four, three, two. Now bend your left knee in, that's it, kick it out. Make sure you're on one block, guys. We're gonna be at the back. Right foot in front of the front, in front of the back platform on the floor. Left heel down in the eyelet, reverse side lunge in three, two, let's do it. So last move on that right leg. Grab a sip of coffee. It's early for me here, so no judgment. I'm still drinking coffee. Good. Left heel down in that eyelet. Right foot is in line with your back platform on the floor. You could have your foot any way you want it, okay? All the weight in the right leg as you sit back and down into your side lunge. And then push down through the right foot to come up. You really got to do whatever feels best with that left foot in the rail. If you've got a shoe on, you could go heel down, toe up. You could also put your toes down in the rail. 
but I want all the weight in that right leg. Booty goes back and down like you're trying to sit on your back bars if you have them. Good. Step your right foot over to the right more. If you need more resistance, step it over to the left more. If you need a little less of a pull. In five, we hold this down. Four, three, two, hold it down. Good, just hold it. In four, you got little pulses with your left hip, your right hip rather. In three, two, now pulse it up two inches. Down two, good. Up two, down two. That's it guys, 10 seconds. It's your last 30 seconds of your right leg. You go full range of motion for me in five, four, three, two, all the way down, sink down, all the way up. Amazing. 20 seconds, we're gonna get into your upper body. We're gonna sit on the floor. I'm gonna sit over on the side I'm on right now at the back. It's a pullback row. One red, you could even go heavier than that if you'd like. One red, two black. Seated on the floor, working that left arm in three, two, let's do it. Good job with all those lateral movements, guys. One red, up to possibly even one red, two black. You can scoot up to make it easier, scoot back to make it harder. You're gonna have to try it first. Sitting on the side of your machine, my left palm is up. Okay, closest to my springs. Lean back with the abs. And now pull that left elbow back. You're in a row and then extend it forward. If your machine moves like mine does because my floor is a little slippery, I kind of lodge my feet on the front platform. Yeah, so it doesn't move. <laughs> oh, fancy. And then if you need to make it heavier because you got to do that, then just add a block. Just pull the left elbow back and then slowly extend it forward. Working the bicep and the lat and the back on that left side. Also working your abs because you're kind of leaning back the whole time. Beautiful, guys. We're gonna hold this back and pulse it in four, three, two, hold it back. And now pulse from that underarm area. Back two inches, forward two. Back two, forward two, you got it. Beautiful. Eight seconds, you go back to full range of motion. In four, three, two, back to full range, nice and slow. Amazing. 20 seconds, guys, you're gonna stay on this side of the machine, same springs. You're gonna be in some sort of tabletop position. If you need a padding for your knees, grab it. Left palm is gonna be on the upper rail closest to your front platform. It's a tricep pull down. Heavy. In three, two, let's do it. So knees are to the side of your machine. Again, you're gonna to need to adjust, okay? My top left hand is at the top edge of the carriage there. Booty on the heels, or you could be in tabletop. And you're just gonna pull your left elbow down into side body and then extend your left arm out. Good, pull it down, squeeze, and then extend that left arm out. Amazing. Pull it down, squeeze, extend. Good. Big squeeze in that tricep as you pull that left elbow down. If you wanted a little core challenge, you could be in tabletop and extend your opposite right leg straight. I might do that. Just 
just make sure that left elbow is really going down and in towards the body as you pull it down. That's it, guys. Scoot back harder, scoot up easier. Just really feel that tricep and lat on the left side. Let's go 40 seconds and you're gonna head over to the other side. Let's start with this move first on the other side. Good, so tricep pull down on the right. In 20, keep that left shoulder down out of the ear. Yes, guys, in 15, other side, tricep pull down row. In eight. In four. Three, two, awesome. Now head over to the other side. Same thing, but on the tricep first. So right palm is going to be down on the rail closest to your front platform. If you want that added challenge, extend your left leg straight. And now pull the right elbow down, extend it forward. Big squeeze in the tricep and lat. Yes. And when your right arm goes out in front of you, try not to let the shoulder creep up too. Really resist the urge of the right arm wanting to go out fast. Try to slow it down. Really squeeze when you pull that right elbow down. Again, you don't have to have the left leg floating. You could be in just a tabletop or butt on heels situation. Completely up to you. Amazing, everybody. Let's go 60 seconds and you're going to sit on your booty. Right palm up on the rail closest to the edge of the carriage where the springs are. We've got that bicep pull back row where you're kind of going to lean back with your abs too. Really feeling that back, lap, tricep right side here. In 20. You take a seat. Good. In 15. Nice. In 10. Right palm up. In five, four, three, two. Let's do it. So take a seat pretty close to your back platform. Again, if your carriage moves because of your floor, you might want to lodge your foot on the platform like mine. Palm is up, lean back, and now pull your right elbow in and back, and then out in front. Good, try to lean back the whole time, working the abs here. Yes. Ooh, feeling that bicep lat on the right side. Getting a nice kind of posture situation here too as the shoulder head goes back. Scoot up. Easier, lighter, scoot back. Heavier, harder. These machines are really, really intuitive in that you sort of, there's no right or wrong place to kind of put yourself. You kind of have to feel into it and see where you feel it the most, right? It's always gonna look a little different. And now pull it back for me and pulse it. Back two, forward two. Back two, forward two. Keep the right wrist straight and strong. Really initiate the pulse from that lower right armpit. 
back area. Good, you're gonna go back to full range in four, three, two, last 30 seconds of upper body, guys. Let's do it. And then we have your ninja kick for that left leg first. So one red, up to one red, two black, whatever you did for the last side. We're there in 15. Left foot is gonna be in front of the front platform if you're turned out to the side. Right heel down in the eyelet, toes point up. We're there in three, two. Awesome, guys. All right. Time for your other leg. I'm just gonna lock the door so I don't have any more intruders. I need my car. Oh boy. So you get a little break here, right? <laughs> okay. All righty, what a day. Left foot on the floor in front of your front platform facing out, guys. Right heel down in the eyelet. Toes stick up, okay? You're going to sit on the left side. Kick with the right side. Ready, go. Kick and push the right leg out. Bend it in. Isometric hold on the left as you kick with the right. Now you can step your left foot over to the left to make it lighter, step your left foot over to the right to make it eat harder, heavier, right? Just keep the left hip still as the right leg kicks out. Yes, weight is centered. So you see I'm not shifting over to the left when my right knee bends in. You got that heavy side lunge pulse thingy coming up in 10. Good, in five, right leg kicks out. Four, three, two, right leg kicks out. Now pulse that left butt up a little, push it back and down. Like you're doing a heavy side lunge thing. Up a little, resist. Push it back and down. Yes. 10 seconds, you're back in. In five, four, three, two, sit low. Back into your side kick. Or your ninja. One more heavy side lunge pulse here. In eight. Good, in four, three, two, right leg straight, pulse the booty up a little, push it back and down. Up a bit. Push it back and down. That's it, guys. 15 seconds, left foot over the front platform in front of it. Right foot on the edge of the carriage closest to your front platform. Side kick. We're there in five, four, three, two. Woo. Oh, let's do it. So left foot in front of the front platform. Right heel to the edge of the carriage. Get a good grip. Step your left foot to the left easier. Step your left foot to the right harder. Sit on the left side, kick with the right. Try to keep the left hip still. Nice. I'm just gonna do some holds here. First one coming up. In 20. You'll kick the right leg out, you'll hold it out. guys. 
foot slipped. It happens. All is well. In three, two, kick the right leg out, hold it out. Good. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Back to full range in three, two, back to full range. In slow, out slow. Good. You got another hold coming up in five. In four, three, two, kick it out, hold it out. Nice, nice, nice. Sit a little lower. Beautiful. In four, three, two, back to full range. Woo! Left leg is burning. One more hold, guys. In 10, those holds should be really hard. It should be hard to keep that right leg straight and to keep the left leg low. Woo! One more hold out in three, two, kick it out, hold it out for 10. Good, you're gonna go back to full range in five, four, three, two, back to full range. Let's go 20 seconds. Amazing. We got your baby skater next. Feet on the edges, little bend in the knees. In four, three, two, and one, awesome. Woo. All right, guys, feet together on the edges, soft bend in the knees. Maybe pop your chest forward a little bit. It's out a little in a little baby skater. Out a little, keep your weight centered in a little. So in a weird way, you're kind of kicking out with both legs. You're not really leaning to the left. You're not just kicking the right leg out. I'm kind of staying kicked out on the left while my right leg kicks out, if that makes sense. I'm not shifting over to the left. You see I'm pretty solid here on the left side. Knees stay tracked over the middle toes. Good, you got your first set of squats coming up. In four, three, two. Now kick it out, hold it out, all the way down into your squat, keep the carriage still. And then all the way up, keep the carriage still. Yeah, you might start to feel that shake at the top, that's wonderful. 10 seconds, you go back to full range. In five, four, three, two, stand up. Readjust your feet if you need to. Out a little, in a little. Yes. Let's go 10 seconds. You have one more set of squats here. In five, four, three, two, kick it out, hold it out, all the way down, actively press down and out with both feet. And then all the way up, let it get shaky. Oh yeah. 15 seconds, you have one more set of baby skater guys Then we're in our light side line, side lunges, excuse me. In five, one more set of full range. Four, three, two, stand up, make it your best. In a little, out a little. So zero springs at the front harder, one block at the front easier. We're gonna start with that side lunge. Whew. We're there in 10. Left foot slightly in front of the right foot. In five, four, three, two. Awesome job with all that heavy stuff, guys. So one black, easier, zero springs harder. Left foot staggers in front of the right foot on the front platform. 
Okay, so you got a staggered stance going if that feels good for your body. And now lean into the left leg, side lunge, booty goes back and down. And then push down through that whole left foot. Come up without locking the left knee out. Chest up, eyes up, heads up. Sink down. Push down, come on up. Good. You got a hold, a pulse, a carriage kick, a hold, a pulse, a carriage kick. 10 seconds in each place. In eight. In four. Three, two, now hold it at the bottom. Chest up, eyes up, heads up, good. You start that pulse in three. Two, now pulse it up two inches, down two, good. Up two, down two. You got carriage kicks in three, two, now bend your right knee in. Kick your right leg out, awesome guys. You're gonna go back to the hold in three, two, hold it. Back to a pulse in three, Two, pulse it up two, down two. Nice, big squeeze in that under leg area. One more set of carriage kicks and we've got that reverse side lunge. In three, two, hold it down, bend it in, kick it out. You're gonna be on one black when you're at the back. Good, left foot is gonna be in front of the back platform on the floor. In three, two, last lower bad move, guys. And we got our last six minute section back. And again, if you need to skip out on that, then you're done after this, this leg, this move, okay? Right heel down in the eyelet, toes up. Or maybe you gotta put your toes down, who knows? I might try toes down. Okay. Left foot is in line with your back platform. And now side lunge. Booty goes back and down. And then come on up. Yes, if you need to step over to the left more, do it. Step over to the right more, do it. You got it. Booty goes back and down on the left. Push down through that left foot to come up. All the weight is in that left leg as you sink down and as you slide up. Just try not to lock the left knee out at the top. 20 seconds, we hold this at the bottom. Our uh, finishing corset is going to be at the back facing the front. So you're already kind of where you need to be. Just letting you know. In eight. At the bottom, we hold. In four. Three. Two. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Beautiful. You're going to push down through that left foot and start a pulse in three, two, pulse it up two inches, down two. Nice, guys. Up two, down two. Ten seconds. We finish this in full range. In five, all the way up, all the way down. In four, three, two, all the way up. Last 30 seconds of lower body, maybe of class unless you join me for the last six minutes of core. All the way up, all the way down, last 20. Starting the core off, we're gonna go giant pike to plank. Hands on the carriage, feet on your back platform. Good, you're still in that one black. In four, just 45 seconds in that pike to plank. In three, two, awesome. So hands on the carriage, feet are gonna be on the back platform behind you. It's 45 seconds and we're on your elbows and knees. Ready guys, three, two, let's do it. Exhale, pike, inhale, extend, getting back to the center core, feels like a while, right? Tiny bend in the knees, if it needs to come out of the hip flexors. 
30 seconds, elbows come down, knees come down. You've got a giant crunch. In 15, elbows down, knees down. In five, four, three, two, elbows down, knees down. You're gonna inhale, come forward into that modified elbow plank, and then crown it ahead to the hands, hips and butt over the knees, rounded up crunch. Just a cat crunch. Really initiate it from the center core and from the crown of your head going down. We're gonna go back to that pike to plank. 45 seconds and back to this 45. Then we'll have two other moves that we're gonna alternate and then you'll be done. Hands up, toes up. In three, two, let's go. Pike to plank. Hands up, toes up, exhale, pike it. Inhale, extend. Fifteen seconds, elbows come down, knees come down. In four, three, two, back to the cat crunch. Elbows and knees come out. And then round it up, pull the elbows in towards the knees, look up at your belly button. Good. Up next, we've got a bear for 45 seconds. And then elbows and knees saw for 45 seconds. We do that twice through. Bye. We're gonna start with the saw first though because we're already on the knees and elbows and it's more exciting to end class in a bear, isn't it? So drop the hips, drop the butt, just the elbows in three, two, tuck the tail, drop the hips, drop the butt. Now just the elbows shift forward, just the elbows shift back. Good. Twenty-five seconds. You're on your hands and toes for your bear. In 15, hands up, toes up. In five, four, three, two, it's 45 seconds, guys. Hands up, toes up, bend the knees in, and then kick the legs out. Nice. 30 seconds, you're on the elbows and knees one more time. The next time you're in this move, it'll be the last 45 seconds of this class. In 10. Elbows down, knees down, guys. In five, four, Three, two, saw, let's do it. Maybe the hips are up a little higher this time. If you're gonna do the hips up higher then you just wanna keep them still. And you wanna keep that tailbone tucked. You wanna make sure that you feel it in the core. If you don't, go back to hips low and normal, right? Let's go for 15 here, back to the bear. Last 45 seconds of class, guys. You've done so well today. Sorry for all the little interruptions. Life is real, right? In four, 
three, two, let's go, hands and toes. Bend your knees in, kick your legs out. Like no one ever needs me when I'm free and then when I'm busy, people are like calling and texting and freaking out. <laughs> oh yes. Amazing everybody, you're almost there. Let's go. You got 10. Last five, four, three, two, and one, everybody. Woo, amazing work today. I will see you when I see you next. Take care of yourselves. Bye.